Hi everybody, Helwick here, and today we're going to go over my end of the season pack loadout. First, let's go over the big three. So for the pack I used this season, for most of the season anyway, is uh, Superior Wilderness Designs Long Haul 50. It's a little bigger than I needed, but I plan on doing some longer trails in the future so that extra room will come in very handy. So these packs are handmade to order. So I put my order in in April, I believe, and I didn't get it until the middle of July. So handmade, handwritten, long haul 50, torso large, belt small, weight one pound, 12.5 ounces. For my sleep system, I used the Moonstone 800 Lucid 2 20 degree long down bag. Uh, it was bought in 2003 by my cousin Dick and he gifted it to me and I used it all summer, kept me warm, had zero problems with it. It's a great bag. For my pad, I used the Thermal Rest NeoWare X-Lite full size, possibly the best piece of gear that I bought all summer. For my tent, I used the Lightheart gear so long it's a single wall, one person tent, built for tall guys like me. I'm six and a half feet tall, so when I saw Lightheart Gear was making tents just for tall guys, I had to try it out. It worked out really well. It was a little challenging to set up at first, but once I got the hang of it, no problem at all. For my cook system, I used the BRS stove, uh, the Toke 650 milliliter pot, uh, the Sea to Summit Long Spork Titanium, and then just a plain stuff sack, barrel line, and fuel bottle, etc. Figure some of you might like this. For my electronics, I have an NO solar charger. It'll charge my phone twice, which is about all I need for the trips that I've been doing in the past. I have a Black Diamond Spot headlamp. I have a Spot X satellite messenger because I do do these trips by myself, so it is a nice peace of mind to have a way to get in contact if I fall or get hurt back in the back country. And I have a pair of headphones, assorted cables, and then a, a Dyneema stuff sack that I keep all my electronics in. For my clothes bag, we'll start with the rain gear. On the left, I have a OR Helium 2 rain jacket with some Marmot rain pants. For Thermalera, I have a Patagonia pullover zip tee and then some no-name brand fleece pants, which double as my sleeping clothes. Uh, for a puffy, I have a Patagonia synthetic zip tee pullover. Kept me very warm. Uh, an extra pair of socks and then a pair of North Face gloves and a simple stocking cap. This is what I wore when I was out hiking this summer. A pair of North Face convertible pants, um, some darn tough socks, a merino wool buff, a regular red handkerchief, a Silver Ridge Columbia shirt, um, Ultra Superior 3.5s with gaiters, um, Black Diamond trekking poles, and a Rangers ball cap from my buddy's band in Bozeman, Montana. For my toiletries bag, I just have a, starting at the top left, a very simple first aid kit, a bag of toilet paper, deuce of spades, um, hand sanitizer, dude wipes, toothbrush and toothpaste, all in a granite gear waterproof stuff sack. For my odds and ends, I have a Thermarest Z seat, a Sea to Summit mosquito head net, a small repair kit, with tape, super glue, dental floss, needles, uh, repair tape for a tent and thermal rest, a small lighter, some Carmex, an extra smart water bottle cap, and then a Swiss Army knife. The last few things I always had were always a map, a Sawyer Squeeze Mini, and a couple of smart water bottles.
Thank you.